Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. What's a five-star review that lives in your head rent-free? For me, it's a review I read many years ago of the 12-pack of purple Sharpies. So the reviewer gave the pack five stars and wrote in the review that in their monotonous work they often had to use Sharpies and found that using purple ones brought a little bit of joy and color to an otherwise unbearably bland life. I'm really bad at remembering exact phrases, and I have never been able to find this review since I read it for the first time, but that is the phrase as I remember it, a little bit of joy and color in an otherwise unbearably bland and life. Anyway, I've been thinking about this because today I've been signing with Purple Sharpie in my quest to sign all 250,000 copies of the first printing of the U.S. edition of the Anthropocene Reviewed book. And it actually has brought a bit of joy and color into my life. There's something about the richness of the purple that really does make repetition somehow less repetitious. Like, the first 100,000 or so signatures were actually quite easy because it felt like a break from the work of writing the book, which I found exhausting at times and emotionally draining, in part because despite its grandiose title, the Anthropocene Anthropocene Reviewed is a very personal book. It's my first attempt to, like, write about my actual self. Now, I want to be careful not to imply that writing is difficult work, because I have done difficult work and writing is not it. But for me, at least, it does require, like, an intense level of focus and concentration, which can be a little emotionally exhausting. And this time around, because it was about me, it felt at times, for better or worse, like my whole self was being poured into the book, which is a little terrifying. So anyway, signing was a break from that. Also, anyone who's been around here a while knows how how much I love a beautifully foolish endeavor, like I am completely enamored with Double Agent, the World of Warcraft player who plays the game as a pacifist panda, acquiring experience points primarily via picking flowers, which he has done literally millions of times to achieve the highest rank in the game. I'm also a fan of Kurt J. Mack, who has been walking in one direction in Minecraft for the last ten years in search of the Far Lands. And I also love artwork that involves a lot of repetition and careful mark making, like this piece by Hiroyuki Doi, or this one by by Robin O'Neill. And when I make drawings, I tend to do so in an obsessive way, like uh, this drawing of 17,000 circles. Or actually, no circles. 17,000 failed attempts at circles. I don't know why I'm drawn to art as endurance efforts, but whatever. I like them. They bring me joy. Oh, but I can't let it go with that because I have to hyperanalyze because that is my nature. Like, the art critic Robert Hughes wrote of the peculiarly modernist hell of repetition, and I think I like work that turns that on its head and finds color and joy in repetition. Slightly off topic, but Hughes thinking that repetition is a modern phenomenon on strongly implies to me that he never attempted agriculture, because, like, if you think that picking flowers in World of Warcraft is repetitious, try thinning row after row after row of carrot seedlings. Anyway, the point is, the first hundred thousand or so signatures were easy, and now it has become harder, and I still have to sign for 300 hours, and my hand hurts a little, and this is the part where a test of endurance, even an exceptionally silly test of endurance, actually becomes a test. Like, the book comes out in three months, and obviously it has to be printed before that, so there is not that much time left in which to sign, and there are a lot of marks left to make. Like, I remember when I signed 150,000 times for The Fault in Our Stars, at the end I was signing like 12 or 14 hours a day, and I would be thinking, oh, I don't know if I can do this, and oh, this is a lot, and then along would come the purple sharpie to remind me that I made this promise, and I can keep it. Sometimes a bit of color and joy is enough. Hank, I'll be signing live on YouTube for an hour this afternoon, I promise it'll be very boring, but it will be purple the whole way. Link in the doobly do. I will see you on Friday. Oh, P.S. As it says on my 2021 vision board, here's to perseverance, both the rover and the value. Hank, thank you for making me a fan of Mars so I could openly weep when that rover landed on the red planet. By the way, remember when, like, not scheduling haircuts was my biggest problem? Oh god, remember when I thought hair emergencies were emergencies? I want to go back in time and just, like, pinch that little boy on his cheeks. Alright, now I'm really gonna go, because I got a sign.